All right, guys, so I'm doing an unboxing of this. I can't see the naming, but it says Roful. R-O-O-F-U-L-L, -L, which is, uh, I got two of them because I'm not just going to unbox one of them, see? Got two of them. And so the reason I got them was because of, uh, and by the way, you're saying this in like, uh, the same day as most of the other videos because I came came in the mail, but um, yeah, I just I was trying to set most of this, this stuff up just to see if it worked. But it comes with uh, this, which is the little um, which is a little USB. I mean, not USB. It's the little um, um, it's the HDMI switch. So I got two of them because of what I'm gonna do with them. So so basically, I want to record Switch games and other console games, and I and I needed something five port. So I wanted to get to basically every every console I can possibly get HDMI wise, or convert to like HDMI wise if I didn't want to use actually hard hardware versions. But since the uh, um I mean hard hard I mean. If I didn't want to use the emulation, I would just use hardware versions and get, and then I'd upscale them with like an upscaler or basically if they can take HDMI natively, hook them up through HDMI. For example, I can hook the GameCube up by HDMI, the, the um, Wii U by HDMI since, since the GameCube can play GameCube games and the Wii U can play Wii and Wii U games. And then that's two ports. The Switch plays the Switch Switch games. That will be three ports. And then the PlayStation and uh, Xbox can play those games. So there's this. And all the other console stuff I have another capture card for. And I hooked this to my capture card. So it has uh, one output port. Which will. So it has one output port, which is here. And the rest are inputs. So what I'm going to do is basically hook the output port of this adapter to... So I'm going to hook the output port from my TV to my... um from out, the, the TV port from my TV to the output port of my switch. And uh, one and the, then the number one input port to my um to my blu-ray which is connected to my tv right right now and the number two to to my capture card cable which is running across the room to which will which run to my capture cards output port which will go to the input port and so it'll display on the tv over here if i change the input of the switch and then the last one, which is uh, that, which is there, and then that's going to only be on this five port one. And if I decide to add more stuff to like there, I can like another Blu-ray or or somehow take a VHS player and put it on here just to like go over there and figure it out that way yet. But I don't have a VHS player, so um, and then going over to the others over here with the other switch i got i'm going to basically take that and take the input port of my capture card put it to the output port of my switch and then i'm going to take this the nintendo switch and plug it into the into the um input port of the actual switch of the hmi switch and and so and also hook another cable for other capture devices like uh, the actual PlayStation Wii U. If I can figure out how to play, play actually GameCube games on the Wii U, then I could <coughs> probably just uh, play. So, so subtract a GameCube, and then run uh, um my, and then run my capture card to my, then run my capture card to my uh, thing right here and so and then and then run my um these devices right here to my switch right here 
so I can basically record by pressing on the remote input one, two, or three, or or four or five, and then I can re record and basically have it picked up by by OBS after pressing the record button on OBS. So on on this switch, it has vent holes for like breathing. I'm probably just gonna put a fan on here, like a 40 millimeter fan with like a USB to uh, with USB to um um four 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 pin header so I can um run this through as USB so there could be airflow going 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 over the, the chip just to make sure it doesn't get too as you warm and it uses a barrel jack it has uh it has a switch button right here a switch button right here and it also has a power button right here uh power on and off right here so power on and off and uh so power on and off over here and then switch or right here and here's your barrel jack so you could hook up bare barrel plugs so that's what that is what else comes in the box is sorry about that i just dropped something is a barrel jack like this it's a good thing it's a five volt barrel jack if i if i just know stuff correctly yeah it's a five volt barrel jack it comes with a remote this remote i may or may not use i might i may use the sofa baton that i have for actually controlling my blu-ray play player and stuff like that but since the remotes are the same i'm pretty much just going to use one of them it comes with an instruction manual that's in chinese i'm guessing or japanese i'm not for sure uh it it starts out in chinese but it, there is english in here too um it's should it, it tells you the instructions on how to set it up oh yeah i didn't mention that this can do 4k 60 it can do it can do adobe um Adobe Vision, I mean it can do Adobe Vision and, and Adobe Atmos. Well, I highly doubt it can do do actually those, but that's what it says it can like do. So yeah, I'm just gonna say um probably and it gives you a QR code if you need some help for like contacting them right here. Sorry about the light. Ugh, God, it's so bright. Yeah, you can't really see that. You can't really see see you see you white on white. Okay, but that's all that's in the box, and I'll do an actual video showing how I have this whole thing set up after 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 this. But it's gonna take a little bit of time to set, set up because I gotta tape some actual stuff, hash it down, stuff like that. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.